People who watch Donaldson grow up are trying to make sense of all this. A woman who knew him as a child is stunned by the arrest. News Channel 8's Corey Davis joining us now live. He is at the Donaldson home in town and country, and I guess some people are saying this is the last guy you would expect to be a serial killer, Corey. Keith, good evening to you. And we're also being told that he actually did hit a rough patch recently, getting fired from a job before starting at McDonald's in Ybor City. And take a look. This is the house he grew up in on Millwood Drive here, told raised by a fine family, top of the line people. Oh my God, it's just my heart is beating so fast be because it's such a shock. Kelly Fabian can't believe the little kid she called Trey is now locked up, accused of killing four people in Seminole Heights. Yeah, I walked him to school. Him and his, his sister, Ebony. Five years we walked. Five years back, five years there. Every day, twice a day. Now she walks along the very sidewalk, wondering what led Howell Trey Donaldson III down this path in life. Just the reason why. What happened? Donaldson grew up in Baycrest Park in town and country, 20 minutes from where the victims were murdered. And I've been here over 30 years, and I have never, ever heard anything like this before. Donaldson honed his basketball skills at Plant and Alonzo High Schools in Tampa, making a lasting impression on a former teammate. He was always extremely nice, very well spoken, um, if anything, a little bit more shy. He went on to St. John's University in New York and graduated earlier this year before moving back home. It's a shock. I feel bad for the family. They're very, very nice. I just can't imagine what happened in his life that he thought this was okay to do. And tonight we've discovered that Don Donaldson's parents are listed as owning a vacant home that's boarded up in Sulphur Springs. That area is uh, a border of Seminole Heights, just north of that neighborhood. And investigators are have been spotted out there as well. Back to you. There's so much more to learn about uh, what he must have been thinking. But if it turns out that he is the guy police think he is, Corey Davis, live in town and country. Thank you.